I am a huge Antonio Banderas fan, so when I saw the tile for Automata, oh, it was on. This is a dark sci-fi thriller set in the future where he's an insurance agent looking into claims of robots malfunctioning. Now, the deeper his investigation goes, the more dangerous it becomes, and these malfunctions could actually mean something life-altering to humanity. In 2044, solar flares bake the Earth, killing off 97% of the population. The survivors build robots called pilgrims that build everything that they need. Now, these pilgrims are programmed with two main protocols. One, they cannot hurt a living being, and two, they cannot alter themselves or another unit. These robots have become part of everybody's lives, but some of them begin to exhibit strange behavior like self-repair. Jack is assigned by the insurance company to look into these odd malfunctions so they don't have to pay anybody. But his investigation keeps coming up short. He doesn't get any real answers at first. Is someone intentionally rewiring these robots so they can break their protocol? Or, more frightening thought, are the robots doing it themselves? As he looks for the truth, some very deadly people want him to stop asking questions. This was a much more intelligent film than I was expecting because the tile showed me this was going to be an action film. Instead, we get a detective story where our detective is in danger, but his investigation revolves around questions like the nature of life, evolution, and what it means to be alive. Once I realized where this film was going, I ditched those expectations and just enjoyed the story of a man searching for the truth, even as that quest was tearing him apart. If you want to know why I think Antonio Banderas is a great actor, then just watch this movie. His portrayal of Jack gives us a man who's a layered character. This man is assumed to be father, a truth seeker, a husband, and someone who doesn't like his life. Even before the investigation begins, he's just fraying at the edges. He's on the jagged edge. So when everything starts going sideways, we get a performance that just keeps getting deeper and better. In an age where computer graphics are just dominant, the director of this film decided to go with real robots. So when the pilgrims are on screen, we have a physical, tactile presence that the actors are interacting with. There's a couple of scenes where Banderas is just alone with these robots, and you cannot believe the performance when basically he's talking to Tinker Toys. Automata is not the action film that Tile hints at, but a cerebral sci-fi thriller that has a sound cast and great practical effects. Now, when you want a mystery that's more about the thinking and less about the shooting, that's when you click play on this one. Will Jack be able to find out what's happening with the pilgrims, and will it be an answer humanity can live with?